Tonight, coyotes taking the lives of pets in our area as several people in Gardendale tell us tonight their family pets have been attacked, even killed by these wild animals. Tonight, CBS 42 News reporter Hillary Simon is speaking to a woman who says she watched in horror as a coyote attacked and killed her chihuahua. Well, we've seen the coyote problem all over central Alabama. One woman I spoke to lives in the city limits of Gardendale. She says she can't understand how the coyote problem has escalated so terribly. Nancy McGowan loves her pets, but there's one missing. It's made me sad that I have lost my dog um, because she didn't deserve it. Her chihuahua, Boo, killed Monday night by a coyote, and it happened about 10 feet away from her. I called Boo to come, come here, and she stood there, so I started walking up towards her because she wasn't coming, and I knew she was going to come. And the closer I got to her, the more panic I could see in her eyes, and I took off running toward her, and about that time, here comes a coyote, and it grabbed her up. Nancy called Dale Heitch, the city parks and rec director, who says this isn't the first time he's heard of coyotes. It has escalated. It hasn't always been a problem. Coyotes are known to be lurking at night, as you can see from these trap cameras in Gardendale. It's clearly a problem. But Dale says the city doesn't have an answer on how to fix this. It's going to take the homeowners getting involved also. Um, you're, we, have, we still have a lot of hunters that live around our, uh, our town. So they will probably do some trapping themselves. And they have. In this picture, two coyotes were shot and killed after a Gardendale man says they killed his pet. In Gardendale, it's legal to shoot a firearm in the city limits. If I saw a, a wild coyote and uh, attacking one of my animals, then yes, I would go ahead and take matters in my own, own hands. There's something's got to be done. But that answer isn't good enough for Nancy. Some people don't know they can shoot it. Some people don't know they have guns. And when you tell them to shoot them, you take more of a risk of someone accidentally shooting in someone's house or shooting something that they thought was a coyote. It's like they're dodging the, the issue. Dale says the best way is for neighbors to all just look out for each other and report if you do see a coyote. But he says the city has no plans on setting any traps. Hillary Simon, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.